Welcome to the another video of Cricket Thrills. Rashid Latif, born on 14 October 1968 in Karachi. He is a Pakistani cricket coach and a former cricketer who played for Pakistan national cricket team in Test and One Day International from 1992 to 2003 as a right-handed wicketkeeper batsman. Rashid Latif also served as the captain of Pakistan team in 2003, leading the country in six Test and 25 One Day Internationals. Rashid Latif has superior ability behind the wicket as compared to his fellow friend Moin Khan. Moin Khan had a record of 2.14 dismissals per test against Rashid Latif 3.51 per test. In 37 test matches, he took 119 catches and 11 stamps. In 166 One Day International, he managed to grab 182 catches and 38 stumps. He was extraordinary behind the stumps. His athletic glove work always make him the ultimate choice above Moin Khan. Let's watch him make some of his best catches. Nah, and that's a very good gathering and I don't know whether that's out or not. Uh, asking for a decision, the umpire Kizarat is not very So he's given out. Grand fly is caught behind on the leg side by Rashid Latif. A very good catch. There's the replay. Just from Grand Flower, it seems as though he might not have got the touch. There's the replay now. It is very difficult to say, and, and until we actually see the batsman. That's right, but, but very good catch by well, Rashid Latif in the end on the leg side. And uh, as we were talking about... Go on, good catch! I give David a strike, he's got the ball to move a little bit off the seam. And that was a magnificent catch. Get him! And uh, the catch is taken. And Brian Young disappears. First ball after lunch. Waka Yunus has struck. Lovely catch by Latif. And away goes Brian Young. New Zealand 67 for two. Well taken. Rashid Latif clings on to that catch and Sherwin. Beautifully bowled and beautifully taken. Was that catch was going to Inzamam and Huck in the first slip. But Rashid Latif diving across him with. Pakistan wanted, India losing that fourth wicket, that of the captain, 200 for four. He's got such a good temperament, he never gives up, and look at that catch by Rashid Latif. All the more important because it was a crucial catch. Gone! Yes, well caught, good bowling. Was a maximum with the angle there. Phil Goes flying away very wide, and a good uh, dive there. Very good catch. No better example than uh, this delivery, this dismissal of Keith Arthurton. That's fine catch by Rashid Latif. He came into the Pakistan side after uh, Mohan Khan had an indifferent match at Headingley in the test match. He's out. Wonderful catch by Rashid Latif. Third again, and he didn't get to it quick enough or far enough forward. See the foot, it's stuck in the crease. You see where the foot's stuck? It's only just in front of the batting crease. It never got far enough forward or across enough. The left foot, it's stuck. It's a long, long way from the ball. It's miles away. He's actually falling into the shot in the end. That's taken. Very nicely taken indeed by Rashid Latif. Very agile behind the stumps. Very nicely taken indeed by Rashid Latif. Very agile behind the stumps. Beautifully caught by Rashid Latif. What a brilliant catch. Ball when he took that catch. Watch that ball. Watch him in the air. And there it is. Almost the first. Edge to Angom. What a great catch that is from Rashid Latif. Back on struck again. Well, he got a wicket with his first ball against England. Interesting. Great nick, his whacker. What a delivery. Great scene. We were talking about the scene from the Australian bowlers. Straight down the pitch. Oh, 
batting is out. New Zealand lose their first wicket in the first over with no runs on the board. Well, this looks a quicker ball from Akram. And it comes back into Young and he gets an inside edge. And that's a superb catch from Rashid. Going well to his left. And New Zealand lose their first wicket in the first over. There's an edge. That's the end of Nathan Astle. What that right well arm over the wicket. It's a good one. Just started to leave him a little bit. And uh, Nathan Astle had to hurry the shot. And he's got an edge too. He chased one. Again, Rashid Latif does well to his right. Had to go quite a long way, but again, his glove work is good enough. Use of the feet there, missed and stuck. So that's a bonus wicket for Pakistan's. Oh, no. Ooh, now what's that? It's a foot behind. Yes, it is. Okay, Yunus. Edge is it? It's a big nick, and he's gone. Yes, giving himself room. Out, caught by the chief, well caught. He's got a long way to catch that. Oh, just below, you can see there, really fending it away. It's the fielding practice. It's a good catch. First slip had it covered, but went with both gloves for Nordvik to bite. Uh, Mohamed Sami. Oh! That's a superb delivery. This time, Chalim, if you have to go. Immediate revenge for Mohamed Sami. And they are away from the right-hander. What an excellent delivery. Just enough to find that outside. England were getting the ball to do good strike that for Pakistan. Nasim Akram, baller hai. Decker ke club se lagti hui ek bahut acha catch liya Rashid Latif ne apne daai. Second over. 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 And there is the replay you can see, John. Yes, well, I mean, when you get that kind of a delivery, the first ball, the first ball of the morning. Um... Okay, you know, and that's out. So that's the end of the Zimbabwe 11. Uh, first inning. Oh, and that's out. Caught behind. Yes, that bounced a little bit. And he went to try and cut the ball. The Australian captain. On his way back to the pavilion, having used up a lot of balls. Test the top order of the West Indies. Very good over the big shout. He's out. Yes, beautiful bowling. Caught by the wicketkeeper. Rashid took us. Tim Haynes looking at the pad there. The ball went away. Seemed to be back to me. Shouts of catch it he has, and Ian Bishop uh, has walked. Didn't even wait for it. So to the bowler. It's a beautiful delivery. It cuts away. Well, we didn't have to wait that long. Wasim Akram picking up the first and the last wickets to fall in the Sri Lankan innings. And what a spell it has been. on strike off the edge taken by Rashid Latif what the units on fire here Holland at 29 for three now there's no move from the umpire but Adam Perori is departing so there's no question about it he got an edge and it's gone through to the keeper Rashid so New Zealand in further trouble, they've lost their fifth wicket. This man, Perori, the keeper, on his way. 
with this one from Mac from wide of off stump, but the angle's pretty good there. And Ferrari playing with an open face bat there, trying to run it down through the gully, gets an edge through the gully, gets an edge. And a great emotion. Come on, this time, that's beautiful following the top spinner, Boone trying to cut. That's a wonderful piece of bowling by Mustak. Maybe a chance against the Australian captain. This time, he gets Boone with the top spinner. Much been uh, bowling. Slightly different delivery, and it's a thick edge too, almost, uh, well, it's thick top edge by the look of it. Rashid Latif started playing for Pakistan national cricket team in 1992 after the 1992 World Cup. He impressed the national selector by scoring 50 runs on his test debut. However, it did not cement his place in the national squad as throughout his career. He had to compare with another Pakistani wicketkeeper, Point Khan. The highlight of his career came after the 2003 Cricket World Cup when he was named the captain of Pakistan cricket team. Under his leadership, Pakistan successfully experimented with several new players and the team gave positive results. He was also involved with uniting the players throughout his captaincy, both and off the field. However, problems between Rashid Latif and the team management again surfaced in 2003 and 4, which resulted in him giving away the captaincy to former Pakistani batsman in Zamamul. He was omitted from the squad and was never recalled in the team, despite his attempt to get back into the squad during 2003 and 5. He announced his retirement in the middle of Pakistan team 1994-95 tour to Zimbabwe, following some fishy goings on in South Africa under Slim Ali captaincy. Then returned as Mr. Kaleen to captain the side after he had given plenty of evidence to judge Abdul Qayyum in quarry. All went well at first in South Africa in 1997-98 until he found like Ramiz Raja and Amir Suhail that certain senior players did not want things to change. He made a surprise return to the colors for the 2002 World to England and got a second chance at the captaincy when Wakar Yunus was sacked after Pakistan's miserable performance at the 2003 World Cup. Rashid Latif also suspended for five match for wrongly claiming a cash during the series against Bangladesh. These incidents led to the sourcing of relations between him and the Pakistan board and eventually resulted in his stepping down from the captaincy at the end of that series. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.